And now on Art Street, a visit to the place on Lincoln Road where you can count on getting world-class jazz every night of the week, Van Dyke's Cafe. The lights are low, the tables are crowded, and the sound of jazz fills the room. It's a ritual repeated at clubs all over the world. And tonight, you have a front row seat at South Florida's premier music club, upstairs at the Van Dyke Cafe. The Van Dyke has been known as a jazz club for the last 15 years, and a lot of people don't know that we're more than just a jazz club now. We also have, uh, we have R&B is, is represented here. We have, we have Latin jazz is here. I seek to represent every major and subgroup of, of music that is in existence right here, and you'll find that here at the Van Dyke. I call this like a garden, where we can grow beautiful music here and together. Randy Singer is a musical director at Van Dyke. He's the man who makes it happen by booking the best acts on the South Florida music scene. And tonight, as he sometimes does, he's jamming with the headline act. Randy has a unique claim to fame in the annals of jazz history. He's released the world's first smooth jazz harmonica CD, titled Harmonica Dreams. Tonight, the featured act is a crowd favorite, the Perry Jocelyn Project. They're based here in Florida, have toured the world, and are a critically acclaimed fusion band. I take fusion to mean uh, the commingling of many different styles. I particularly like some of the rock and roll components of, of what we do, and I take that and infuse that into the jazz components, which tends to have a lot of different chord structures and chord modalities, and, and I think that that, uh, that helps put all the things together. Fusion ultimately is the it's the commingling of rock and roll and jazz. The Perry Jocelyn Project is guaranteed to pack the house. Their repertoire is skillful. It's a blend of jazz standards and original compositions. And their style is what fans call purely Perry. One secret to their unique sound is inverted chords. Uh, if you have a specific chord and it's, it's structure, say a C, and, and it's a C, E, G, all right? Well, I'll take that and, and just change it and then put another piece into it and start with the top note rather than the bottom note. And then I put in some minor bass notes into these things. And they fascinate me, and I'm fascinated with E flat for whatever reason. So I tend to write in, in st uh, styles that are um, very minor oriented. Perry Jocelyn began his musical odyssey in a fairly conventional way. Piano lessons at an early age, followed by a music degree at Ohio Wesleyan and summers at Tanglewood, playing chamber and classical music with the Boston Symphony Orchestra. Then in his early 20s, he formed a jazz band, but soon came the harsh reality of earning a living. I went into the brokerage industry and, and started there, and things progressed, and I did pretty well ultimately in the professional career. And I ended up as a partner for uh, KPMG for the state of Florida. And I did that for a number of years. Uh, I actually didn't, I can't take credit for the next piece of this. My wife sent a CD down to Lee Levin, who called me and said, I'd actually like to hear you do this. And came to the house and watched me play the piano for about 10 minutes and said, do you, do you even know what you're doing? And I said, well, I think I'm playing jazz. And he goes, not like any I've ever heard. And I'm going to change your world. And the next thing I knew, I had a, a a first CD out and I was running around the world with some of the best musicians that exist and it has been a whirlwind ride since. With Lee Levin producing and playing the drums, the Perry Jocelyn Project cut their first CD in 2003 and now they have a new release called It's a Strange Thing. The members of the band are all first-rate musicians, some of the best in Miami and inspired by Perry Jocelyn, the mix is magical. I love Perry. Perry has got, his, his songwriting is, is infused with this kind of sensibility of, of, of jazz and blues and Latin. In a, in, in a sense, Perry really uh, um, uh, exemplifies the essence of my mission statement here at the Van Dyke. The mission statement being to be a compendium of all the styles of, of the world. Perry has that in his music and, not, and he does that also with his original songwriting. 
Upstairs at the Van Dyke is a non-stop music festival with an impressive, innovative calendar. The club is housed in a charming, historic building that was once the office of Carl Fisher, a prime mover in the early days of Miami Beach. Now this grand old building is home to a new and exciting chapter in our musical history, one that benefits local musicians and South Florida audiences. We definitely want to send them away with a great experience, not just a night that they come here and they listen to some music, oh, okay, it was nice. It has to have a full experience. From the time they sit down, they come up here, they have to have a fantastic and great experience from, you know, from the service to the music to interact. I love some of the artists interact with the people that are here and I think those are the best for the type of ambience and the quality and the size of the room. And we want them to go away with a beautiful memory. The vibe down here is very, very cool. Uh, there's a lot of people from a lot of different cultures and there's a lot of different uh, simulations of those cultures. So when you get people to come to the Van Dyke, they're, they're expecting certain types of jazz perhaps, some from a Latin you know, flair and some from the fusion style and some from the straight ahead and, and then you get what I do and you get Perry jazz. And so everybody gets to do their thing down here in this particular environment and it's very, very exciting and I'm sure that the bands appreciate it greatly. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.